Carol Lussier has been working as a dealer for more than three decades and found herself living off of unemployment when Star Casino was forced to shut down in March due to the pandemic. When the government kicked in the $600 a week, it made it manage, barely manageable. Because as a, as a dealer, the, your pay rate is only the minimum. So you're, you're pretty much relying on your tips. Star Casino reopened for outdoor operations after health guidelines were modified by the state. Lucier says being able to get back to work is worth the risk. I think with all the protocols that we have here, I do not. I feel very safe here. I feel safer here than I do when I go to the supermarket. Before guests can enter the outdoor casino, they must stop here at this table, get their temperature checked, be wearing a mask, then they'll receive a yellow wristband to enter. Emmanuel Macalino manages Star Casino and says staying within the social distancing guidelines and battling the summer heat were the biggest challenges when it came to moving the card room to the patio. We also have to deal with the weather. As you see, it's pretty toasty out here and they put up the shades. It's still having allowing the air flow to, to permeate through the patio area. The outdoor Star Casino only allows for 50% capacity. Macalino says it's required that each table is sanitized before and after guests sit down to place a bet, and hand cleaning stations are located throughout. Our tables are reduced in capacity. Instead of having eight players, we only have four, as you can see, and that's to provide for the ample space between them.